I'm really glad that I had about 30 to 40 minutes of traffic before coming home to record my review because I really wanted to think about and mull over what I wanted to talk about when it came to the film The Spectacular Now which stars Miles Teller and Shaylee Woodley from The Descendants. At least that's what I've seen her in. And But I mean, this movie also definitely has an impressive supporting cast from Kyle Chandler, Jennifer Jason Lee, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Brie Larson, and Bob Odenkirk. I think I might have missed somebody, but uh, I'm sorry about that. This was a huge hit, I believe, at the Sundance Film Festival, and it's getting a small release in August. I think it'll go wider as the weeks go by. I really hope this movie does go wide, because I think it's definitely worth seeing. It's a movie about love. It's a movie about young love. Um, and that's really all I want to say about this movie, because I feel like if I talk about plot points and stuff like that, I might give something away, and I really don't want to spoil anything when it comes to what this movie is really about. But I have to say, it is about a young couple that meet through circumstances and form a relationship, a friendship, and that's as far as I want to go. But there's so much more about this movie. I mean, the characters are, are flawed, and they're treated realistically. They're not... it doesn't feel like a Hollywood production. You know, it feels like everything comes natural, and it feels honest, and the acting by the two leads is Oscar caliber worthy. It, it, it did remind me of some of the films that I've loved growing up that dealt with young love that I hope one day when I do purchase this film and own this film, I can set them right by those other films, especially the films of John Hughes in the 80s. I was thinking about, when I was watching this movie, I was thinking about The Breakfast Club, and Some Kind of Wonderful. And then I know this movie is not a John Hughes movie, but I also thought about Cameron Crowe's Say Anything. These are some of the movies that I felt that are in the same kind of ballpark dealing with the fact that uh, young people, uh, and they're, they're young, they make mistakes, they're not perfect, but they're not treated like normal Hollywood movies. And this made you, and you just start, you start to make it, uh, you feel like they're just, you know, phony, baloney, and they're not, feel, they don't feel like something uh, that was just created in a screenplay. Now, I believe this movie is based on a novel, but the screenwriters of this film also wrote the film 500 Days of Summer, which is one of my favorite movies ever, and one of the best films of 2009. The director of the film. Uh, made a film called Smashed, which I haven't seen yet, though I hear from everybody and their mother that that is an amazing film as well. So what a great track record. I mean, I, I haven't seen the movie yet. I look forward to seeing it. I, hopefully it'll be on Netflix streaming someday so I can get to see this movie. But I feel like this is an amazing film at all, and I'm definitely going to watch out for this director in the future. This movie is crafted beautifully. It's shot beautifully. It's, it's told at a great pace. So you really get to develop a relationship with these characters and start caring about them. And I really liked the supporting cast as well, even though they don't get a lot of room to develop as characters, but that's, that's okay because we're really there to meet these two characters and get to know them. And hopefully they have chemistry. Hopefully they have room to breathe and grow and we can believe in them. I really liked the way this movie ended. I feel like... Um, it, it ended in a way that f felt satisfying to me, and that's all I'm going to say about that. I feel like um, this film is something that I'm going to think about for a while, and I'd like to see it again, hopefully not too long from now, maybe a year from now, and, and see if, if I feel the same way. I don't know if this movie is going to be recognized in the future when it comes to awards season, but I feel like it does deserve it, especially in the acting department and the screenwriting department and the directing department. Oh, hell. If it gets nominated for Best Picture, that would that one, that one make me happy as well. So, yeah, I mean, this movie is something that I think that is important to be seen. I hope the generation of today will appreciate this film like I appreciate a lot of the love story films that dealt with teenagers that happened in the 80s and early 90s. I think this movie is just in the same kind of category as those films and deserves to be looked at as an important film that tells an important story about young love, but also does it in a realistic manner, like 500 Days of Summer. I think 500 Days of Summer deals with love in a realistic manner. I, 
I almost, I was watching the film, and I'm like, man, I wish my high school experience was like this. Yeah, my high school experience sucked. But uh, luckily I found some love in my life after high school, and hopefully now that I'm getting older, it'll happen again. But anyways, this is a really great movie, uh, a, a special film, a movie that I'm going to cherish for a very long time, and it's going to be a movie that uh, I look forward to watching it again and again. I think it is one of the best films of the year. I'm going to give The Spectacular Now four stars. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter, and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. And if you love to go to the movies, and hopefully this movie will be playing, expanding, expanding, and I hopefully you can use your movie pass at MoviePass.com if you check that out and see The Spectacular Now. All right, thanks again for watching, and have a great day, and I'll see you at the next review. Bye-bye. Peace.